here's the thing about about those reforms that uh, they're talking about in Colorado: uh, necessary, insufficient. And but my my attitude is this: we need to bank this stuff as soon as possible because in two weeks from now, when the alien invaders uh, land. Uh, and we are faced with, you know, whatever it is, their ray guns that are going to uh, that, you know, it's going to change the complete dynamic of everything that's going on in our politics. Uh, we need to bank this ASAP so that we get closer to the point. Look, the fact is, is that the ineffectiveness of the reforms that came out of the Obama administration and the DOJ, some of the stuff was helpful. Some of it um, was tried. Minneapolis was the home of, of, of like one of the key places of, of these experiments and they failed. And that's why you've got, I think the Minneapolis city council going like, we, we're not going to try these other reforms because we did and it's not working. And on some level, just from a political standpoint, sometimes you get to cycle through these things and you got to bank this stuff when you have the opportunity so you can build on it for the future. I mean, I think people should keep pushing for more, but bank it as you go. And so you know, be careful of, of, you know, necessary but insufficient is really the way to look at this stuff rather than, uh, you know, because there's, there is going to be an attempt by lawmakers to get out ahead of this, to basically, you know, co-opt some of the energy with reforms that are not going to be substantial enough to ultimately do the job. You bank those, but you maintain the energy. And, and push through it. And that's what's got to happen uh, during, you know, and it, will, it, will it all happen this round, go through? I don't know. But I think that, you know, it, it's, it's building and um, the, you, you seize the opportunity as it exists in that moment, it seems to me. Uh, oh, let's, this is, this is interesting. I'm curious about this. I feel like it's like a Rorschach test because I know people are making fun of this, but I think there's, uh, maybe it's just, um, Let's play this clip. This is um, Allison Camrata with a woman named Lisa Bender. And I guess uh, she is a Minneapolis uh, council. Woman. Oh, yeah, I, and, I do have a critique of this. <laughs> and, who, uh, and, and like we say, they, they are ostensibly going to be cutting the police force. Um, and it's unclear to me exactly what they're proposing to do, but it is along the lines of, of, of defunding. Uh, I don't know how dramatic or whatnot but they're also you know and and i said this the other day when we were talking to alex vitale i'm a little bit cynical about anything that's going to take a year long worth a look at it because by that point this is going to be after the aliens have landed and oprah is president and whatever is you know other insanity is is awaiting us but She'll nevertheless <clears throat> um here she is on on cnn i'm curious michael what you think about this Do you understand that the word dismantle or police free also makes some people nervous? For instance, what if in the middle of the night my home is broken into? Who do I call? Yes, I mean, I, I hear that loud and clear from a lot of my neighbors. And I know, and, and myself too, and I know that that comes from a place of privilege because for those of us for whom the system is working, I think we need to step back and imagine what it would feel like to already live in that reality where calling the police may mean more harm is done. What's your take on that? So I have a, a messaging and then substantive concern. And actually there's a fuller clip where I think she actually sort of moves back and tries to fill out what she's saying. So I don't like, look, I think what she's doing is great. And this isn't an attack on her. Um, but I think, one, the messaging is like defund is still, I think that's like a 16, 17% poll number position. And most poll numbers definitely indicate across the board that there is a broad acknowledgement, increasing acknowledgement, including finally among white people that changes need to happen, but definitely not calls for cuts or these other more radical systemic things. So I definitely, so I think when you get, the one question that you're going to get, and I want to really emphasize, like, this is the normie question. And I've heard this question, even in the last couple of weeks, from people from every different racial background that I talk to about this stuff. 
police are racist, police are discriminatory, abusive. Absolutely. Wait a second. You want to get rid of them? You want to totally defund them? What happens when somebody knocks in the middle of the night? That is a uni- that's not just like a suburban whitey world question. Sure. That is sure. a question everybody has. So I, again, I think the messaging is flawed. Then the, the deeper thing and the way I'd like to reframe it and what I think was the most powerful expression of this actually was that incredible uh, Tucker video where they show Tucker doing that racist fear mongering thing about hordes of young men lawlessly rampaging on the streets and they cut and they showed police right. lawlessly rampaging on the streets. And that to me is the point that democracy and security are not privileges. They are, have to be insured to absolutely everybody if we're going to have anything that can be called a democracy. So it's not a question of, you know, because look, I think especially in an age of austerity and how these things get reshifted, I think the neoliberal impulse is very happy. Like maybe that is a privilege. And maybe that's a privilege that you buy a private contractor for right, without right. police. The point is, is that everybody should have safety and security. And everybody should know that in that extreme situation where they have to make that call, they're not going to end up getting abused or shot or any, which absolutely can happen. And you can test this out. Ask anybody from different racial backgrounds or, and I will say also to some extent, class backgrounds, that they call a cop when they're in trouble. And that will illustrate the point. Right. But I would not frame it as a privilege. It's a right that needs to be delivered for all. And that's why we need to make these changes. And what she, I think I, 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 I think what she was trying to argue was that like it, we have a disparity in that experience. And she's and she's 100 percent right, right about that. Right I'm just saying that. move the goal and over yes. to the fully fleshed out point. Yes, I, I, I agree. And I think like that ghetto side that Jill Lavoy uh, book, in my understanding, sort of like discusses that dynamic like yes. that, like. You know, the the and, and and when we were talking about this uh, with with Vitaly, you know, and I don't want to spend too much uh, time on, you know, like sort of tis- tissing the, the messaging, because frankly, you know, there's been more that is uh, progress that's been made in the past two weeks. than you know, as far as I can tell, in the past 10 years, definitely. Um, but, um, you know, the word reinvestment uh, or, you know, uh, divest and reinvest is really uh, a more accurate description, I think, of what the what the sort of like yes. the center of that proposal is. And to say yes. like, you know, if she says in that instance, um, yes, many people don't, ex- uh, don't, don't experience the police in the way that you're talking about, Allison. You and I might, uh, but there's a lot of other people who don't. And this whole idea is that that will be like, they will serve and protect. Everybody will have that police. security. Exactly. Everybody to- will have that. Yeah. And I and and the last thing I'd say is that, you know, I, whatever, again, it's anecdotal, but I remember talking to a former neighbor of mine, a black man, just the endless stories of the most, I mean, been abused by police since he's a kid. Uh, I despic- I can't even, you know, and then on the other hand, in, in addition to, to, to that, then it would be like it would pivot onto another topic and you'd be like, yeah, and where the hell are they for X, Y, Z? actual thing that they need to be here for exactly uh exactly there are instances where you want someone to come and help you right uh and uh, that should be available to everyone in the exact same way right um and that's why it has to be obviously your rabbi (laughs) um 